Hi, and welcome to the Great Journey Podcast. I'm Caitlin Clary here with Sensei Marmy Callahan. And today we have a podcast for you called It's Not Enough to Be Sweet and Kind. So some people are not naturally, don't have that natural, fierce, power hungry uh, bone to them. And then you have the fierce people that aren't naturally sweet and sensitive. So right. tell right. us why both are important. Yes. Yeah. So um, the sweet, kind, uh, compassionate, compassionate, sensitive people in the world um, uh, can be seen, I'm not saying always, but they can be seen by the rough people in the world, the aggressive people in the world. They can be seen as victims. Yeah. And um, and the, the, the rough people will take a look at them and go, oh, this is my lunch. Going to eat them up. Eat them up. Yep. Yeah. And so um, it's not enough to be sweet and kind. Um, you have to also have a bit of a warrior in you. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's the mama bear type yep. phenomenon. You know, the mother bear is loving and kind and sweet to her cubs. Mm-hmm. But if her cubs are threatened in some way, She'll rip you, you, apart. you will rip, yeah, she yes. will rip you apart. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she's both. Mm-hmm. She's both uh, the mama. Um, yes. So in a way, it's, it's the idea of being a lover and being a warrior. Mm-hmm. You want to be both. You don't right. want to be one or the other. Right. You want to be both. Right. So how in the martial arts training that we do here in the school, mm-hmm. do I mean, I mean, things are obvious to me, but I'm going to have you explain it. Yeah. How do you draw the warrior and the empathetic side of the child with your training? Yep. Uh, well, um, good, question. good question. <laughs> and too bad I hadn't thought of that before, but uh, I, I suppose we Sorry. Can, something will arise yes. here. So from the warrior aspect, obviously you're learning how to punch and block and kick and strike. Right. And um, and those things are the focus and the kime and the strength that comes from that. Yes. Um, but the on the softer side, it's um, learning good manners. Right. Uh, learning how to respect others mm-hmm. and recognizing um, um, that the first thing you have to do when you're just dis- when you're engaged with other people is to try to understand them first. Mm -hmm. So if you're, um, if somebody is speaking about a topic or other, then you listen to them and you hear what they have to say and you try to understand them. And then you um, speak about what you might, the way you might think about something. And that's a learned practice because oftentimes when someone's speaking mentally, you're already thinking about Yes. Either just your answer or a rebuttal. If it is yep. an argumentative situation, you're not totally absorbing the situation. So that's kind of where the quieting the mind comes in too, yes. perhaps, yep. that you're just solidly focusing on what the person is yeah. saying. And I think, uh, you know, Stephen Covey made that um, concept famous mm-hmm. um, when he said, uh, seek, first seek to understand than to be understood. Yes. That was one of his. And there's also that saying that we're given two ears, but one mouth, Ah. which I always think is good. Double the listening, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, So that's where the character training that we implement with our school Mm -hmm. is where that helps the the empathy and the compassion and the respect and the manner side of it. We have good habits training for our students um, and lots of things like that, right? Yeah, and the the first character trait that we work on is courage. Right. So courage is what the warrior needs. Yes. And courage is your ability to face danger. Right. And when you have the skills to be able to handle the danger that you're facing, mm-hmm. then you're going to do fine. Yeah. Um, so if somebody is punching at you and you have the skills to block a punch and right. counterattack, um, then you're 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 going to do just fine. Right. Um, and that, but the second character trait is courtesy. Okay. So courage and courtesy. Yeah. And they're so it's important that they go hand opposite. in hand. Mm-hmm. Yes, but they go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wonderful. Good. All right. Well, that's great things to think about and definitely things to absorb even as adults in how we interact with people. Yep. Um, so thank you so much for listening. We'll have great content next time on the Great Journey Podcast. Have a great day.